Good evening, yogis. So it's Wednesday evening, relaxation time. And this is Susie from Wild Heart Yoga. Just waiting to see if anybody is coming along tonight to relax with me. So you can see the little shrine that I've made for tonight because it's a yoga nidra night. You don't need to to see me, but you can hear me hopefully. And a yoga nidra is a practice of meditation and it really all it requires is for you to be comfortable. So traditionally you lay down on your back in Shavasana, which is a restful pose. So I suggest having your yoga mat, if you have one laid out, otherwise a blanket or something between you and the floor, but not too soft. So there's a bit of resistance beneath the body. And then having something under the head, so maybe some kind of thin cushion or a blanket that's rolled up maybe. And then covering yourself in a blanket as well, making sure that you're going to be warm, having some socks on. Because you'll be laying still, so you might get cold and you don't want to be thinking about how cold you are. You want to be relaxing. So just get yourself set up and make sure the space that you're in is conducive to relaxation. So ideally where you won't be disturbed. I know that's not always possible. But a little quiet corner of your home and maybe you've got some candles lit Maybe you've got a bit of incense or some nice, nice smells. And just getting yourself settled down on your back. And just letting your feet drop out to the side. And having the hands, ideally, with the backs of the hands on the floor, palms facing upwards in this sort of gesture of openness and just allowing now the body to sink down into the yoga mat. So the back of your head is supported either by the floor or some sort of cushion and your eyes can gently close And you're going to commit yourself just for the next 30 minutes or so to this yoga nidra practice. So just saying to yourself that I will try not to fall asleep as I lay here. I will try and be focused on Susie's voice, on my voice. And this yoga nidra is a bit of a journey, just taking you on a little journey. There'll be a visualisation, there'll be some movement around the body, so your awareness will move around the body. And I'll lead you in all of that, and all you have to do is just stay with me on that journey. So, I think we're probably ready to begin properly. Hopefully you're all settled down now, feeling warm and cosy. And I just want you to draw your attention to your breath now. So, focusing on the inhale and the exhale. And just noticing what it's like 
first of all. So we're not trying to change it, we're just noticing. Although inevitably, when we do bring our attention and awareness to something, it will change. And that's okay as well. And we might notice our mind state tonight. So it could be that you've come to the mat and you're preoccupied with what's going to happen. Maybe there's some planning. Or it might be that you're just really tired. And you might be going over, ruminating over things that have happened during the day. So what we're trying to do with this practice is to bring the mind back to the present moment and the best way, one of the most effective ways of this is just to connect to the breath again. So just noticing the inhale and the exhale. And maybe you could take a couple of deeper inhales and exhales. And with each exhale, just really letting go. <sighs> Releasing down into the mat and you're just allowing the weight of the body to release down into the support of the earth. It's there, it's not going anywhere and you can just let go into that support. See if you can let go of any holding. And to do that first, you need to notice if you're holding on to any tension. So just visit the belly. See if you're holding on to anything in the belly. Is it a bit tight? And we don't have to particularly do anything to make it release. We could just Take the breath into that space maybe. Imagine the breath coming into the belly. As you inhale, create some space and as you exhale, just releasing down. Maybe just looking at any other areas of the body where you habitually hold your tension and just seeing if you can soften a little bit around the shoulders and the throat, see if you can soften the jaw and the eyes, let the eyes be heavy in the sockets. When the mind is active the eyes tend to move around quite a lot and the more relaxed we become the more soft and still the eyes are sinking back into their sockets. And finally, just maybe visiting that little space between the eyebrows, just see if that you're holding anything, if you're frowning, if there's any tension, just seeing if you can soften there. Good. And just noticing now the sounds around you. So in your immediate experience, your immediate proximity, you might hear your own breath. Maybe you'll hear your heartbeat. And any sounds that are close by. Just spending a moment in awareness of those sounds. And then maybe take your awareness, broadening that awareness now out further to see what you can hear in the middle distance. Maybe in the next room or just outside your window if you're near a window. It might be that you don't hear anything on these winter nights. It can be quite peaceful. And then taking your awareness to the far distance. So maybe you can hear sounds in the far distance. And 
in there. Bringing your awareness back now to your body and again to your breath as it just gently enters and leaves the body all on its own. No control needed. And just bring your awareness now to the weight of the body on the floor and the parts of the body that are in contact with the floor. And there will be parts of the body that are not in contact with the floor. And maybe you can notice those. So the curve of the lumbar spine at the base of the spine quite often is not in contact with the floor. Back of your neck. Maybe the backs of the heels, that arch around the Achilles tendon. And everyone's body is different, so just noticing the parts of the body that feel really connected with the floor now. Maybe your shoulders, your bottom, the backs of the calves, the heels, and of course the back of your head backs of the hands. So just feeling that grounding and rooting from that connection with the earth. And so in Yoga Nidra, usually what we do is we make a resolution or a sankalpa at the start of the practice. So it's a very simple intention for our practice and maybe for our life as a whole. And with all this time that we've had for self-reflection, it might be that you've got an idea of what you would like to set as your Sam Cowper. It could be very simple just for tonight. It could just be, I will be relaxed and calm no matter what. Which seems so very simple. <laughs> So just deciding what your Sankalpa is. And then once you have formed that very simple phrase, nothing too complicated, just mentally repeating that to yourself, just inwardly, three times. So you're sealing that into your subconscious mind before we start deepening our relaxation. And now we're going to take ourselves into a rotation around the body. It's called a rotation of consciousness, it's sometimes called. And you're bringing your conscious awareness to the parts of the body that I say. So just following my voice, and allowing your awareness to come into the part of the body that I, that I say. So I'll move fairly quickly. So just see if you can keep with me. And we'll start with the right, the body. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Fifth finger palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, the sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving to the left of the body now with the left hand thumb second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, 
palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of your foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, and now moving to the back of the body, to the right shoulder, the left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, spine, the whole of the spine and the whole of the back. Bringing your awareness to the front of the body, to the top of your head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the eyebrow centre, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, the centre of the chest, the navel, the abdomen, and the lower abdomen. And now the major parts of the body, so the whole of your right leg, the whole of your left leg, both legs together, whole of the right arm, whole of the left arm, both arms together, the whole of the back, the whole of the front, the whole of your head, legs, arms, back, front, head together, the whole of your body together, the whole of your body together the whole of your body together. So just keeping that awareness of your whole body as it rests on the floor. And bringing your awareness again to the space occupied by your body. So your body resting in that space, resting on the floor. And once again, drawing your attention to the meeting points between the body and the earth. The back of your head and your shoulder blades, the elbows, backs of the hands and the buttocks, the calves and the heels. Just noticing them draw, dropping down onto the floor. 
And now bring your attention back to your eyelids. And that narrow line where they meet, where the upper and the lower eyelids meet. See if you can really bring your awareness to that space. And now bringing your awareness to your mouth and where the lips meet. See the line between the upper and the lower lip as they rest together. And we might notice now as where attention is on the mouth and the nose, we may notice the ingoing and outgoing breath. So we may feel that as it comes in. We may notice a coolness on the inhale around the nostrils. And as we exhale, there may be some warmth. So just noticing what that inhalation and the exhalation feels like around the nose and the mouth. And then drawing our attention lower in the body now. So feeling the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. As we inhale, it rises from the navel to the throat. And as we exhale, it descends down the throat to the navel. So just being with that experience for a few breaths. And then maybe we can bring our awareness to the belly. You might notice if the breath is moving the belly in any way. As we inhale, the belly swells. As we exhale, it gently returns back to where it was. So just staying with that sensation of breathing into the belly very gently. Maybe travelling with the breath all the way up the chest, all the way up to the nostrils, and then back down as you exhale. And then we'll bring in some counting. So we're going to start counting the inhales and the exhales. And we'll count backwards, starting at 54. And you might want to say to yourself as you do this, breathing in, 54. Breathing out, 54. Breathing in, 53. Breathing out, 53. Breathing in, 52. Breathing out. 52. And just keeping with that counting that we're not getting bogged down. If we our minds drift and we lose count, we just start again at 54. And don't worry, we just notice. And just seeing if we can stay with that counting of the breath. And we're not feeling tense about it, just allowing the breath to be natural and soft. And if we forget where we are in our counting, we just return again. Back to 54. Following that rise and fall of the breath.
breathe in slow and relaxed. And just returning back to 54 if you forget where you are. And staying with the counting. Keeping yourself just relaxed and calm. There's no tension in this practice. And then we're going to start to let go of the counting now. So just allowing the breath to return to its normal rhythm. And I'm going to take you on a little visualisation, a little visual journey. And this one, I think I've done it once before, but it's a lovely one involving a mountain. And you don't need to be a visual person. You don't need to worry about whether or not you can imagine things. You just need to listen to my voice and stay with me, imagining I'm telling you a story and just seeing how that manifests for you. So it's very early morning, it's still dark and you're walking through hills and you're climbing up towards some mountains in the distance and you're alone. You're walking east and if you look back you can see a crescent shaped moon low in the sky and the sky is clear. Soon the sun will rise over the mountains ahead of you. And far below in a valley the lights of a small town twinkle through an early morning mist. And the track you're walking twists back and forth on the side of a steep slope. It winds between huge boulders and over bridges suspended across deep chasms. The gap between two hills gives a glimpse of a huge snow-covered mountain ahead. The pale sky behind it heralds the dawn. You climb up through the snow. It makes a crunching sound as you break the surface and sink in with your feet. A glacier lies across your path. And there are creaks and groans of moving ice as you quickly move across that glacier. And near the top of the mountain it becomes very cold. The wind is howling around your body. It's snatching at your clothes. And the snow and the ice are clinging to your shoes. And you reach the top. And a magnificent scene reveals itself before your eyes. To the east, a vast range of snow-covered peaks and dark valleys. And to the west, you see the hills leading to rolling plains and the sea. And you can see the sun now rising 
like a golden ball in the east scattering rays of golden light off of snow that's dazzling to your eyes. Looking around you take in the sky, the great sky above you. In the west it is still grey, above you it is blue and in the east it's a delicate pink as it nears the sun. You see the sunlight strike the tops of mountains and it moves down their sides and as the shadows retreat, deep valleys emerge and you sit at the summit. And you contemplate this amazing scene before you, this dawn of a new day in this beautiful part of the world. Allow yourself to experience this now. Notice how you feel. Allow your mind to flow freely with this experience. Just noticing what arises for you. And from here we're going to bring our awareness now back to the space in front of your closed eyes, sometimes called Chidakasha. So it's a dark space just in front of you, behind the eyelids. notice what's in that space. Sometimes we see little lights or movements or shadows. Just noticing what's there. Don't need to get into any kind of analysis about what's there, just noticing, letting it pass by, arise and pass by. And just taking a moment to rest your mind in this warm, friendly, dark space. And now we're going to bring ourselves back to our original Sankalpa, the resolve, the intention we set at the start of this Yoga Nidra practice. So just remembering exactly what you said and once again repeating that to yourself three times. Really with feeling and intention behind it. Now we're going to become aware of our body in connection with the floor once again. Just starting to bring ourselves out of this yoga nidra practice. Feel the weight of the body dropping down into the floor and again the spaces and the connections of the body with the earth.
breathing in a few deeper inhales and exhales. And maybe noticing how you're feeling. How was that experience for you? And you could start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And feel free to stay and rest here for as long as you like. Otherwise, I'm just going to say a very quiet goodbye and thank you and namaste for joining me tonight here. And I hope you're feeling relaxed and calm as we move into the rest of our week. Well done everyone for getting to Wednesday and I hope the rest of your week is rewarding and relaxed. Thanks everybody. Bye.